We've come together here in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable state of life instituted in the beginning by God himself, signifying to us the spiritual union that's between Christ and the church. love of marriage is meant to be a reflection of the burning love of God, our Creator, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Seth, will you have Elizabeth as your wife to live together as God has ordained in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, cherish her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And Elizabeth, will you have Seth as your husband to live together as God has ordained in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, cherish him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Seth, you may kiss your bride. Seth and Elizabeth, the two of you are beginning a journey together, a journey that will have tremendous highs, challenges, and great joys, and, and things to celebrate together. And may you share in all the burdens and the joys and all the happiness that you will have in this life together. As a baby, she captured my heart, and she still holds it today. And I will always be proud to be called your dad. The oldest sibling, um, it's often ingrained in you that you're supposed to set the example, right? That you're supposed to show by way of example, by leading, um, telling your siblings how to be a good person and showing them how to be a good person. But for quite some time, uh, many years and in many ways, I have looked up to Seth. He is smart, talented, kind, and brave. I don't know how many of you know this, but he actually wrote a bunch of love poems for Elizabeth 
hand bound them in like a leather case and gave them to her as a gift, a book of his original poems. And then finally, he's brave. I think anyone who knows him knows what Seth has had to go through and the challenges he's faced. And a lot of people would crumble under that kind of pressure and Seth just hasn't. Elizabeth, I know you see these things in him and that's part of the reason our family loves you so much for him as a partner. You're sweet, caring, reliable, and trustworthy. Um, and I'm just so happy for both of you. Cheers. Elizabeth and I have been best friends since junior year of high school. I remember I was sitting down in the hallway trying to just give myself 30 minutes of like peace and quiet, trying to gather myself. And I see Elizabeth in the hallway at lunch trying to do the exact same thing, just trying to take a moment to get through the day and make it out alive. And I locked eyes with her and then from that day on, we ate lunch together every day for a year. Like we did not separate. Within two weeks, I was completely just in love with her, adored her, which Seth told me was the same amount of time it took him to fall in love with her. Um, I very quickly learned to just love how amazingly unique she is. Her kindness, her wit, her intelligence was the craziest thing I'd experienced. Freshman year of college comes upon us. I'm living in my dorm. Elizabeth comes to visit. She texts me like, I hate men. I'm so tired of them, blah, blah, blah. And then probably a day later, really not even a few days, like a couple hours maybe, she texts me and she goes, okay, wait, hold on, like I met someone. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> here we are, y'all are married, that is crazy. So I wish y'all the best, I love you guys. Have a happy life.